Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit about gear and a few items that are either essential to the everyday needs of a photographer slash videographer slash content creator that have been around, tried and true, been in the bag, aren't going nowhere. And you know, we, we, get, we get some good use out of it. And also a few items that I've got recently that have earned their right into my daily use gear. So we're not talking about the newest tech, the newest gear drops. We're just talking about the essentials, the things that we use frequently. So let's jump into it. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about today, the first item on the list is none other than camera bags. Now, I've been known to be a little bit of a camera bag whore, got a little bit of a bag fetish, I'm not proud of it, but ever since I got this guy a few years back, I, I haven't bought another camera bag since. And this thing is not just sexy, it's durable, it's customizable, it's everything that I was looking for in a camera bag. And I mean, they say the perfect camera bag doesn't exist, but I mean, this guy checks all the boxes. This is the Nomadic Peter McKinnon Everyday Carry Camera Backpack. And it's just, it's, it's cured me of my fetish. It's cured me of my uh, being a camera bag hoarder. <laughs> and uh, I love this guy. It's my daily workhorse, not just for camera gear, but going to the gym, going to work, doing a little overnight stay, doing my travels, this thing covers it all. And uh, yeah, if you're in the market for a camera bag, you got a little camera bag fetish like I do, definitely check this guy out. You won't be disappointed. Now let's move on to the next item. Next on the list is the Lano dual camera battery fast charger. Now, Normally I don't get excited over battery chargers, but when Lano reached out, showed me this little device, I just had to get my hands on it. And I've been using it ever since. I mean, just the fact that it's fast charging is, is game changing, but it also holds two camera batteries, an SD card slot, and has a nice little LCD screen on the front that shows you the percentage complete. Lano also did tell me that they're coming out with another case that has an internal battery. So you'll be able to juice up your batteries when you're on the go without having to look for another outlet or you know plug it in somewhere. You just be able to pop them in, bam, you're done. I can't wait till that one comes out. That's gonna be game changing for traveling or going on shoots or just when you know finding a plug is an inconvenience. So plus, I mean, it also just looks good. It looks sexy for a battery charger. It kind of reminds me of the DJI wireless mic case. It's small, compact, travel friendly, throw it in your bag and, and go. And it just, it looks good on the shelf. I'm, I'm all about aesthetics and this thing has definitely got the aesthetics down. So yeah, battery charger, who, who would have known, who would have thought, but there you go. Let's move on to the next item. Now we all know how important lighting is when it comes to photography and videography. And we also know how expensive lighting is when it comes to photography and videography. But I did find this guy a few years back on Amazon, a little budget light bar, and it quickly became my workhorse light. I have this thing in every one of my talking head videos, giving the background a little ambiance. I've taken it on shoots, nighttime shoots, model shoots, just about everything. When there's a light source that I need quick, easy, I definitely reach for this guy. It's uh, RGB, so you get the full color spectrum as well as 4,200 up to 5,600 Kelvin. So, I mean, you can use it for anything really. And it's just, it's just essential. It's become one of my favorite little light accessories and it's cheap, budget friendly. Check it out. Let's move on to the next item. All right, 
This strange little contraption here has quickly become one of my favorite pieces of camera gear. This is a super clamp paired with a ball head and it allows you to stuff your camera into random locations that you typically wouldn't be able to fit a conventional tripod into. It allows you to get some unique top down shots, some you know different angles that you know, enhance the viewing experience and let you let you, you know, be more creative with your shots. So it is budget friendly, $20 for the clamp, $30, $40 for the ball head. And I promise you, you will not regret this thing. You'll be using it looking for new angles, new perspectives that you can get to make your videos look a little bit better. So it's built well, sturdy, made out of solid metal. And I throw my FX3 up on it with a 24 to 70 lens, no problems at all. So it's definitely become an essential for me. Check it out. I love this thing. Let's move on to the next item. Now for the last item on the list, we're gonna be talking about ND filters and more specifically the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon Signature Edition Variable NDs. Now, I've been through a ton of ND filters in my day. I kind of always used to skimp out, go on the cheaper end, and it wasn't until I really started shooting more video that I realized how imperative it was to have quality glass at the end of your quality glass. I mean, it only makes sense when you got a thousand dollar lens and you throw a $30 ND filter at the end of it. It's really just dumbing down the image quality. You're getting terrible vignetting and it's just, it's just not consistent across the board. So when I finally ponied up and bought these guys, I quickly realized what all the hype was about. I mean, they come in this nice little hard carrying case. You could just throw them in your bag, not worry about getting them damaged. They also have haptic feedback when you're going through the stops. I mean, just the attention to detail, fantastic. These things stay on my camera pretty much anytime I'm using it. And you know, they're probably one of the most essential pieces of camera gear I own when it comes to shooting video. And yeah, that's it. That's it for the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you got any thoughts, comments, queries, concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. And if there was anything in this video that you wanna see maybe a little bit more in depth review on, definitely let me know and I'll see what I could do. But until the next one, later.